as we're looking on and bringing Glenn back in, talking about the conditions that Andrew has seen, and again, mm -hmm. seeking uh, enough shelter where he can report, but also be safe, and uh, we certainly value uh, the fact that all our crews are out there in a tough environment. We so appreciate the work they're doing trying to bring you that story. Ferocious winds yeah, right there, really, and I yeah. noticed something as I was looking over. Uh, yeah, uh, and for our radio uh, listeners, I'll, I'll describe to you what's going on. This heavy rain band now moving uh, into Sebastian, Winter Beach, Vero Beach, and just offshore. We haven't seen too many of these so far, but just offshore on live Viper 5 Max, we're seeing a shear marker that's popping up, which could be an indication of a little rotation. Uh -huh in this rain band. It's something we talk about in these rain bands all the time. In English, is the, risk, the kind of thing you say is, could it be a tornado? Is the risk for tornadic activity as right. these bands come in. We haven't really seen any uh, in these rain bands uh, so far. We haven't had any tornado warnings so far, but uh, the fact that there's a, a shear marker popping up out here as this very strong rain band moves on shore is something we're going to watch very carefully. It's moving, uh, it looks like from the angle it's coming in, it may move down toward, and it just, it just disappeared for a moment, but I still want to watch that part of that rain band as it comes on in, uh, moving down toward Winter Beach and Vero Beach, and Sebastian also about to get it, but we, Vero Beach right now should be getting some very gusty winds. We're seeing, uh, we just got a report of a wind of about 65 to 69 miles per hour. There you see the sensor picking up a 69 mile per hour wind gust right there south of Winter Beach and right around uh, Vero Beach there. So uh, we're watching that. There's Moorings Country Club down here and Oslo also getting in to some of those very gusty winds. Uh, Fort Pierce right now with a wind gust of 62 miles per hour. 61 mile per hour wind gust in Stewart right now. And a lot of our sensors have gone down in, uh, in southern, in Palm Beach County, in southern Palm Beach County, which happens a lot in these storms where we start to lose some of our sensors, unfortunately, because they uh, get clogged or, or they get blown out or right. the electricity gets cut to them somehow. But we have had reports of very gusty winds there as well. Glenn, stay with us because we know you're keeping an eye on that marker. And we want to go back out in the field for just a moment to Alex Hagan. That's right. Uh, live in Indian River County this morning. Uh, Alex? Yeah, guys, you're talking about those wind gusts here in Vero Beach. We are feeling that full force right now. I want to get my photographer to pan up. You can see at these lights here behind me, we're at the EOC in Indian River County. This just shows you the kind of winds, the kind of significant rainfall that we are experiencing from those bands that is coming through here uh, in Vero Beach, Indian River County. You know, the county leaders, they warned us that starting at midnight tonight that we would feel the uh, full effect of Hurricane Matthew here, and that